What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin right now is at a very crucial point. Right now, we are at the bottom level of this ascending channel and we could potentially see a massive bounce here in the next few days, all the way up to mid $40,000 range. So guys, we're gonna take a look at Ethereum as well, and I'm gonna tell you something extremely important about Ethereum, which you have to be watching. Right now, I am in Bali. I have a really beautiful pool and villa right now. Um, but yeah, as always guys, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. If you haven't already smacked the like button, then definitely do so. So YouTube recommends you more videos exactly like this one. Also, if you're new around here, first of all, a huge, massive warm welcome. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell. So you stay notified about my future videos. So guys, what is happening with Bitcoin? Well, as we can see in yesterday's video, I was talking about Bitcoin. We were having a little bit uh, of a pump, potential breakout. We got we immediately dumped back down to this level. Now, I'm going to start today's video on the daily chart, and then we'll work our way onto the four hourly and then the hourly. And then we'll take a look at this chart right here and see exactly what is going on with Bitcoin. So as we can see, we are still on this lower level right here, exactly like happened right here, exactly happened right here, and pretty much what happened right here as well. Here, it was a little bit choppy before we finally saw that breakout. And that's exactly what we could be seeing right here. A little bit of choppiness before we see a breakout to the upside. I am fairly bullish in the short term on Bitcoin. I think we are going to see this um, $49,000, $50,000 uh, range in the next few uh, days. Between the time of here, it was uh, 14 and here around, this was around two weeks again from here. Um, to around uh, here it was again around two weeks. So potentially we could be seeing this over the, the course of the next few weeks if we don't break this level of support. If we break this level of support right here, guys, it all goes away. <laughs> what I just said, it's completely meaningless. And we could see a breakdown to at least in my opinion. Um, actually, I don't know where my red boxes went. I had some uh, boxes drawn on the chart. At least this area right here. I think we'll see a breakdown to here. Um, if we break this level right here, we'll see a break all the way down to this price level there. So that gives you two opportunities, guys, when we're looking at this chart. First of all, we can, in fact, enter a long position right here, targeting all the way up there with a tight stop loss um, of around 2 to 3%. Yes, last time we broke, uh, last time we broke down, um, we did, in fact, see a fairly solid bounce from this level. Here we wick down below, and this is what I would be worried about if I wanted to enter this trade. These big wicks right here we can see, and they are gonna stop you out, guys. So just be careful on that. It could be an amazing trade if we take a look at this potential trade. Um, I think the risk reward ratio is insane. It's nearly an eight risk reward ratio trade, around a 24% profit to around a 3% stop loss. Um, again, it's a great trade to take. Um, potentially, I'll be taking that in the next few days as well. If we take a look at the um, short opportunity, again, it's a great short opportunity. Again, around a 3% uh, stop loss. And again, it's around a, a 4.5 risk reward ratio trade on that short position. So there's great positions available to take, guys. And um, yeah, if you wanted to do that, all you have to do is scroll down on today's video and you can see over $16,000 worth of free bonuses, nearly 5K on Bybit, 5K on Feebex, and 7K on Prime XBT. Simply clicking these links, one, two, and three, you can get your bonus in seconds. And guys, if you wanna know how to trade more, all you have to do is go over to my YouTube channel. Um, you can click the icon right there. And um, yeah, you can see this video right here. Trading was hard until I discovered this game-changing technique. That is one strategy for trading crypto. You can check this video out here, simple beginner method to make $100 a day trading. And this video here, make 22, sorry, make $200 per day. Each one of these videos is a new method on how to trade. And I definitely recommend checking them out as it gives you great free tactics. So let's go onto the four hour chart quickly. And um, yeah, right here, we can see that we came up almost like a head and shoulders pattern, uh, so to speak, kind of a little bit a little bit messy though, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we came up, we got rejected, we came back down and that's the current situation we're in. Nothing really too exciting. When I last made a video, we were up here and now we are back down here. But this is the real level right here we need to hold to prevent Bitcoin breaking down to 34K and 
hopefully making it bounce all the way up to around about 50k. So let's take a look at this chart now. And um, yeah, first of all, let's start with Market Spotter. If you wanted to learn more about Market Spotter, I have more videos on my channel. And you can also go to the website and the first link in the description. It basically tells you where to buy. We can see right here, buy, it pumps, buy here, pump, we buy here, we short. Again, we buy here, it pumps, we short here, we buy here, it pumps, we short here, exactly like that. It's pretty much a plug and play for trading if you're new, if you're a beginner, whatever it may be. The link is down below. Anyone can make successful trades with Market Spotter. And um, yeah, you get three indicators for one package. The last time I was talking on this chart, we had this level of RSI here. I believe it was the 33 level. And we saw a nice bounce from that level exactly like we did here, exactly like we did here. And each time we bounce from those levels, we can see here, we pumped around 23%. Again, when we bounced from this level right here, we pumped again around 22%. And right now we have bounced from this level again. And potentially if we were to have a 20% pump, it would put us back to around about 47, 48K, which is um, exactly my price target on this chart right here, which is the upwards level right there. So it's looking fairly good for Bitcoin guys, in my opinion. If you wanna leave your opinion, um, just leave it down below in today's video. I want to say a huge thanks once again, every video. I'm giving so many thanks to you guys watching at home because I've nearly hit 36,000 followers on Twitter. In my last video, I was thanking you for hitting 35. Now I'm at 36. This is going completely crazy. And my goal to be over 100K by the end of the year, I think it may happen just a little bit quicker. So I want to say a huge thanks for watching at home if you do follow me over on Twitter. Ethereum, what's going on with Ethereum? Because we are having a difficult time, honestly. Um, we do have a level of support at $3,000, which is definitely a great psychological level. However, um, yeah, we could be in this broadening rising wedge right here. And if you know anything about broadening rising wedges, they usually have a break towards the downside. Now, let's have a look and see what if we can see any more kind of indications that we will break to the downside for Ethereum. If we take a look at the uh, MACD, first of all, we can see that we are in fact bullish. We have flipped bullish on the MACD previously. We were bearish, now we flipped bullish. But this these bullish tendencies are in fact slowing off. These candles are becoming white. They are, we are losing momentum in the market. That's why we keep seeing breakdowns um, right here. Again, we have rising wedge breakdown right here. Symmetrical triangle, which is bullish usually, but we saw a breakdown. And again, now we have a um, rising um broadening wedge which usually we will see a pump and then a breakdown on so definitely there could be a small breakdown again this is on the four hour chart these are not crazy breakdowns it's not going to affect the long term um the long term price of ethereum but this potential breakdown right here it could be to around about $2,750. So definitely nothing too crazy in my opinion. However, a potential short position, a short opportunity. We are seeing a rising RSI at level of um, resistance, sorry, support right there. And um, yeah, we're seeing potentially a symmetrical triangle on the RSI with a break to the downside, which would lead the price to break to the downside as well. So guys, that's pretty much it. I am feeling incredibly sleepy. I'm in Bali right now, as you saw in the intro to today's video. Um, it's really beautiful here, but it's so hot and sweaty. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Bali before. This is the pool that you saw in my intro. I really love it here. The food is amazing. The beaches, the people are really beautiful as well. Not just uh, their faces, but also their personality and character. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm going to be filming a lot of videos from here. This is like a spare bedroom, which I have somewhat converted into an office. So um, yeah, daily content coming from here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't followed me on Twitter already, click right here. And of course, all the links down below with the market spotter below every single video thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one